Well, hello, and welcome to an absolutely beauty of an afternoon here in equally beautiful Nova Scotia. Welcome to my channel, The Optimistic Gardener. My name is Steve Farley. So yes, a beauty of an afternoon. It is March the 18th, I think. The weekend is here, and it's that much of a, a, a lovely day. Most of the snow has gone from my garden. I've got some uh, snow on the on the sort of north side there, or sorry, the south side, funnily enough, covered by the trees, but everywhere else it's looking very spring-like, and I'm, I'm very happy for that. I thought, as it's very spring-like, start of the year, start of a new sort of a gardening season, I would give you a little idea of some of the projects I'm about to do this, uh, uh, this spring, summer and autumn. Well, the projects that I'm looking to do, whether I actually get to do them all, sometimes I'm a bit over ambitious. Um, whether I get to do them all, I, I'm not too sure. But I've got some exciting projects this year. So I thought I'd uh, um, see if you'd be interested and come and have a little look around, see what I'm doing. Now, the first project that I'm gonna talk about is one that I keep talking about every summer for the last uh, two or three spring summers is, I'm in the orchard obviously, uh, and I have a couple of holes dug for my pond, that I, my wildlife pond that I want to create to sort of draw in some more wildlife and, you know, give them somewhere to sort of uh, be their centre and, you know, ponds are always a really good draw for wildlife and, you know, I thought I've got the perfect little place there around this, this rock. So, as you can see, I'm going to, I've got two deep sort of pond areas or deepish pond areas either side of the rock and I'm going to sort of hopefully create a little stream that goes from the top end to the to the little bottom end uh, and then I'll sort of pump it back round. I'm not sure, I'll see if I can get some sort of solar pump of some sort but that is something I want to do. I just need to clear the holes out a bit more now and put the stuff the actual, uh, you know, the matting, etc., down there, and uh, create that pond this year. So I'm really excited about that one. Uh, what else am I doing in the orchard? I've got another. I've got a pear tree that I need to plant on the far side there. I had an apple tree in there, but that one died. All my other apple trees are doing well, and I've got another pear tree that I'm going to grow as an espalier that I've planted at the back there. So. Um, these pear trees need uh, one each, so that they sort of uh, they're not self-pollinators. So that is going to be planted there. And if you look on the far side there, I have nearly finished a new sort of little seating area. In fact, I've got two seating areas that I've um, sort of created. Now I've just got to put the seats in, really. And I'm going to make some sort of maybe a covered bench on the far side and another little bench on that side. So I've got two different, or I've got three different areas in this orchard now to actually sit down, rest, have a look at um, what I've done and have, have a, uh, you know, take in the beauty of the flowers. So that's sort of the work to be done in the orchard this year. Now, have a look at these dogwoods. They are coming just how I wanted them to sort of look now. Nice and beautiful red against the uh, the brown of the, the wood chips and they looked really good against the white of the snow this year so uh, they're coming on nicely let's have a look at something else i'm going to be doing this year actually before i leave this orchard area literally where you're standing and along this line here i want to plant a big long hedgerow i'm not exactly sure what sort of hedge yet maybe some sort of evergreen hedge hopefully but all the way along that line so that I'm sort of separating the orchard from the other part of the garden going for that sort of different room look so that theoretically in a few years time if you're in that side of the garden you won't actually directly be able to see the orchard you'll have to come around here um, and go th go through a doorway to see the actual orchard so that's the theory it's quite a big hedge that's quite a big project digging all that and planting all them in I'm not exactly sure again 
what sort of uh, hedge it's going to be. Answers on a postcard or even uh, answers in the comments if, if you've any ideas or any thoughts on the sort of hedge I, I, I might go for. I'll be uh, most welcome. So one of the important jobs, well Mrs F says it's an important job, so it is an important job that I've got to do this this summer, this spring, is this path. So um, it's just a boring path from the driveway to the house at the moment. And there were some steps there, but they're, they're all a bit knackered, as you can see now. So I've got to create some steps up there, and I want to make this a nice, interesting path. Um, I'm going to take them slabs up and maybe sort of uh, reuse them and stagger them and, pl and replant or, or plant along there in between the sort of staggers, maybe some lavender or some grasses, some tall grasses to make the, the sort of, and maybe make it not just a straight line, but a bit of a, a bit of a meander of some sort. So along this path and the steps, gonna change it up. That's quite a bit of a job and it should make that little walk in there a little bit more interesting. So we're in the sort of uh, south side of my, my, my deck area where I've got uh, lots of different flower beds and I've been steadily over the last few years increasing the, the size of the beds, literally coming out that way and, and as you can see on the other side there, that's getting bigger and it reaches all the way out to the, the woods over there. And behind me, lower down there I created a new bed last year so this is where I had a tree there was a big tree here and I, I, I cut that down because it was obviously endangering the deck etc if it, if it came down in the, the strong winds we often have so I've got this grassy bit here grass is boring especially and it's awkward in that area so I'm going to extend this flower bed out to the to the edge to the fence line there and all the way to the end there so i've literally got a big flower bed all the way across there um, i'm going to do my usual routine of using cardboard to kill off the grass lay the cardboard down then i'll lay um, some compost i'll move these stones out so that they go all the way to there and we've got a nice bed and then I'll be uh, having flowers all the way to sort of uh, the edge of, of the pool deck area there which will be nice in the summertime and hopefully make those uh, some sort of smell perfumed some sort of perfumed plant so we get some nice wafting of the perfume while we're sort of lazing around on summer days on the deck drinking cool cocktails etc or maybe even a cold beer but anyway so that's another one I really should have done this last autumn time but I left it a bit late and then all of a sudden we had a load of snow it was all too late so I'll be doing that quite early uh, now this spring so there you go another project more flowers lovely so this is a bit of an exciting project I think and I only sort of uh, came up with it uh, a few months ago we are in an area, literally to your right hand side is the greenhouse and there is the orchard on that side over there and this is this sort of a bit of an area, well I did have the extra part of my greenhouse that I had to take down uh, here. I'm going to make this into a Japanese garden, I think. I think I'm going to put some sort of fencing behind the hedges there and then I'm going to turn because this is gets quite a bit of a uh, shade you know I, I, I'm I've got in my head some sort of uh, you know the Japanese sort of look where they have the moss and uh, you know maybe sort of a little reflective area that I can sit down and you know, reflect on the on the moss of the stones etc but anyway that's what I'm thinking maybe and it's quite a big area so I can make a nice little Japanese garden in this area. So I'm really excited about that. I haven't even, you know, I haven't got to the design bit yet, but I'm gonna get onto that over the next few weeks. 
and uh, see how that progresses. So that could be a really exciting project this week. Japanese garden, eh? Beautiful. So lastly of the projects, big projects we're going to do this year, is a complete refresh of this side of the uh, the raised bed red veg garden. We're going to be taking all of these down because they're all getting a bit knackered now. Here's the sort of design. I think uh, I've shown it already. I did a, a, a video or two on uh, the actual design process. Well, now I need to implement that design. So I'll be taking all of these up, except for that end bed to start with. I won't be doing the end bed to start with because that has got garlic in it. So I won't be able to do that to sort of July, August time, or July time, I think. But the rest of it, it's all gonna be dug up, replaced, new design, looking good. I'm excited about that one. So that's a few of the projects that I'm going to be doing this year. Quite excited, Japanese garden, new hedgerow, uh, new benching in the orchard, etc. More flowers, new veg beds. Really good, really exciting. Hope you'll join me for those videos and the new season ahead. And definitely, uh, job will be a good one. Oh, by the way, if you like my vids, if you like this vid, give it a thumbs up, please. Always helps to get me up on the old viewing figures and don't forget to subscribe. So hit that bell button as well if, so you get a notification when I put one of my fantastic videos out. Anyway, see you later.